babe. Yeah. We made it to Lincoln. <laughs> so, where are we in Lincoln though? Right, so we're not quite wild camping, but we're not on a site. We're on a car park in Lincoln. A car park, people. A car park. She's not too happy, but it could be worse. You could be wild camping. But let me show you. There's the motor home. The kids are over in a park just over there. No, but, we like our parks close. Yeah, we do like a, a park close. So the reason I've chosen this spot is because we wanted to do a day trip into Lincoln, but more importantly, we want to go to the Christmas market tonight. It's supposed to be the best in the UK, so why not give it a bash, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, it looks really pretty with the lights, but for an idea on location, like I'll drop the what three words in for where we are now. Uh, but if I just quickly show you, you've got Lincoln Castle just there. On the other side of Lincoln Castle is where the Christmas market is. So we're at the back. So we are a stone throw away. Oh, I'll give you that. Location, really, really good. Cost yeah. was really good. What was it for the night? £6.50, £6 .50 for the night. And actually, there's a cafe just in front of Sheila as well. <laughs> yeah. So I know I'm going to get my morning latte if I make it out of here alive. Oh, we'll be fine. We're in a car. There was lots of reviews. A lot of people have stayed here, so we found her on park for night. But yeah, today. Oh, actually, sorry to interrupt you. Actually, you've just reminded me that the people of Lincoln so far, thank you very much for your kindness. Because on our way into said car park, a chap <laughs> came and knocked the window and said, "Excuse me, are you trying to park?" And uh, yeah. I would look gormless, and I? I was like, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he actually told us which way to come round, and it yeah. was. We were going to the smaller one around yeah. the side, whereas the camping one and the much bigger part of the car park is around the back. Yeah. Um, so whoever you are, thanks very much, because that was actually really helpful. <laughs> yeah, but I so said, we're all, we're all, it's all parked up. We've paid our parking. We're going to go and sort of get our bearings inside of Lincoln now and then return later this evening and do the Christmas markets and see the lights. Yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to it. But yeah. I can hear a plane coming, so we're going to go now. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Lincoln Castle, your price list. I want to go in. And Lincoln Castle. A thousand years worth of history, it says. Come on. Look, we've oh. even got one of them proper gates. But it looks like we're being dragged into this one. Uh, depends how much it, well, what was it, 37 pounds? 37, 34, something like that. Oh God, their back gardens literally are in the old moat. <laughs> That's class. Yeah. I wonder if the light bulb are flooding. <laughs> Big old gate. Free entry. Is it free entry? Oh, even better. The pay booth is closed, so it appears as though we've got free entry. So this grand building here is smack bang in the middle of Lincoln Castle. And just read it's a working Crown Court. Bit of a random place, but it's definitely a grand court. What have you found, love? A thousand years ago, this was. Right, 1068. William the Conqueror builds a castle at Lincoln as part of his strategy to subdue the region. Whoa. 1141, Battle of Lincoln, the joust. King Stephen has taken prisoner here during the Civil War. What's the next one say? 20... 1215. Magna Carta is publicly read out at the Sheriff's Court at Lincoln Castle. 1217. Yeah. Battle of Lincoln Fair, King Henry the Third. Henry the, is it Henry the Third? Yeah. Yeah. Henry the Third's army defeats the rebel barons and the French aliens. Allies. Allies. Yeah. Aliens. 1217. King Henry the First issues. The Chanter of the Forest and sends a copy to Lincoln Cathedral. Cathedral, yeah. Next. 1644, English Cathedral War. 
English yeah. Civil War parliamentarians capture the castle held by royalists. Next. Yeah. A uh, new and improved George, yeah. Georgia girl is built in to imprison, imprison debtors and criminals in, in the castle. castle. Excellent. What's the last one? 1848 to... This, that's not... Oh, sorry. 1878. Yeah. The Victorian prison and design for the spectrum. System in of solitary cell. confinement functions of the EU. Last one then. 1884. In New England, I've got a track. Right. So I go back to it. Anyway. 1884. Um, a new era. Lincoln, Lincoln Castle, Castle opens its gates gate gate to gate visitors to enjoy the ground and, and the uh, castle. Excellent, boys. Well done. So it says here, welcome to Lincoln Castle. Explore the towers and the dungeons of the medieval wall walk. Visit the Imposian Victorian prison and extraordinary chapel. And we can also see the Magna Carta, the document that changed the course of history. So this sounds... Like it could be a day out, a good day out actually. Yeah. There we are, should we go and have a look? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> this would look really nice in the night lit up. All these Christmas trees as you're walking up to the castle. I spy a really nice cathedral. <laughs> look what Texas found. There's an illuminated walk here. This is cool, isn't it? In the evening, this would be very pretty. Oh, we've got to go get your dad. Come on. Oh, it's the red arrows. I know where um, they go from there. Yeah, quick, let's go. I know, I just caught them on camera. Wow, look at that, love. That's lush. That is a very, very impressive cathedral. Look at this. Oh, they found a telephone box. Oh, I should, this is reminding me of your. This is lush. Isn't it? I see Magna Carta. Yeah, they've made a pub out of it, have they? Or a shop of sorts. This might be bare by you. I saw something. Look at that. Way. A cute little um, street. That looks like Diagon Alley. Mom, Mom, what? Mom. I can see. I can see a Christmas tree. <laughs> Come on then. Does it look like York though? It, it's very pretty, isn't it? That's wow. See, I thought it's a Christmas tree. I can see your stomach. I'll pull out one of them. Right, watch out, there's a car coming. So you've created a tree of life, look. Oh. Look at that. That is massive. Daddy. Daddy. Is that the biggest cathedral you've ever seen? No. I think so, yeah. That's it. That's one hell of a building. Come over here a minute, guys. Woo, look! They are training. They are, they've been making a, we've been hearing them for ages. Yeah, Dad, I, I already saw them. What's the training for? Dad, I don't know where you... <laughs> Free money. <laughs> no, leave it, leave it. That, that would be holy water. Why? This is the cathedral. <laughs> so we've just popped into um 
Lincoln Cathedral. <laughs> and the man that said, excuse me, but could you let us know where the Christmas market is? They looked a little bit dumbfounded, I want to say. There's the red arrows again. They looked at us a little bit strangely. So of course, we're like, what's the problem? <laughs> and they were like, it's only on for the first weekend of December. You've missed it, love. <laughs> Something to get excited about though for next year. <laughs> we were like, well, fair enough. Let's just say, the man that is not too happy. <laughs> He's uh, got a bit of a march on a minute. He's over there. So I'm thinking, I strut around uh, the city now. This always happens to us, have you noticed? It's becoming a regular theme. Don't worry guys, we'll still make it fun. <laughs> What's this? Yeah, it's called the Tree of Life. Are people leaving like messages on here? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, that is. <laughs> What's the matter, love? <laughs> so I was just telling everybody how uh, disappointed you are with the Christmas market situation. Who only does a Christmas market one weekend? I mean, what is this? Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln <yeah. laughs> so we're just going to take you down the streets and show you what's here. Sherbet peps. Oh. Sherbet peps. Oh yes, please. We don't oh, they've got cola peps as well. Wow. I'll come in on the way back. They have bubble gum. Come on. Dolly mixture, fizz balls, winter. Oh, that's all my childhood in that shop. Here we are then. So we've just made it down to the town centre. And the street that we came down was called Steep Hill and actually was the steepest hill I've ever been down. There we are. Oh look, they've got all their Christmas decks up though. So this evening this would look really pretty, wouldn't it? Look at the decorations, didn't you? They're good, aren't they? It's lovely, isn't it? Santa's down there. Yeah. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, there he is. Give him a wave in the Christmas tree. <laughs> Chris. Oh look, it's a big grotto. Here you go. Should we go and have a look? That's a big grotto, isn't it? Right, well, I don't know where your dad's gone, so we better go find him. We're not quite in Scotland, but I found the bagpipe man. A good bag paper. I was just saying, we haven't made it to Scotland yet, but we've already found the bag paper. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. oh. So they might not have had any Christmas markets in Lincoln, but I'll tell you what they do have. Goodies. Sweetie shop. And I tell you now, I got some goodies. I want now proper childhood sweets of them. Sherbet pips. Sour apples. 
can't wait to give one of them to the kids after. <laughs> <laughs> Cruel. But this is the best thing I've seen in a long time. Look at the size on that gobstopper. Well, that should keep her quiet for at least an hour. <laughs> you so drop a comment below. What were your favourite childhood sweeties and why? So we've brought the kiddies out to see the Lincoln Christmas lights. Three days in Dover, that's the golden tent. How many? Three. So three days until the full moon. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. So, last minute, we have booked Lincoln Castle Illuminations. Why not, isn't it? Two quid each. Booked on the spot. Absolute bargain. Look at this, guys. This is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making a Christmas Give us some of these packs of very best <laughs> <laughs> happy about that. Here we go, scared of heights again <sighs> Oh, actually, you're right. It's like a cathedral in the distance. I've been presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights. So you should come back home to me. And when we wake up in the morning, I'm going Play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been Hold you close, forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, 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 Making our Christmas memories Yes, these are the good times with you like fake snow coming out of the, the archway. Loads of it. There's your snow, love. We'll wait for it, babe. So Dexter thoroughly enjoyed the snow. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, I need better light. Let me get you some light. 
Oh my god! Oh no, so good morning we have spent the night here we had a beautiful night last night as you'd have seen the, the illuminations at the castle were truly stunning had a very peaceful night here can't grumble i think we got our heads down must have been about half 10. she was sleeping a bit before that she was worried she wasn't gonna get any sleep because this was a bit too close to wild camping for her and that makes her nervous as you know but she did she slept like a baby there was another two motorhomes that joined us here last night um yeah they're both still here they're just down by there being close to that park there were kids in the park till about half nine last night and yeah it got pretty quiet we haven't been bothered we've just cracked on so i'll show you everyone in the van now Hello. good morning hello you know i love Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How do you sleep? I can't remember, so it must have been alright, innit? Yeah, you were out like a light. But you had a bad night's sleep the night before. And the night you? before that. Yeah. And the night before that. Yeah, he's looking particularly nice today, though, love. Shut up, Stuart. <laughs> you did not. You were amused by that way too much. I was when I sorry. Don't Did you have a good night's sleep, Amelia? You were the first one to sleep last night, wasn't yeah, you? Yeah, two rows. <laughs> two in a row. Two in a row. I got. And what have you got by there? Sweeties. Yeah, do you sweeties want... for breakfast. <laughs> we were going to head up north on the east side. Yeah, I wanted to see the Angel of the North, but then the campsites up there seem a little bit pricey, so we yeah. changed our mind. And few and far between, mm. so we've actually booked to be tonight now. We're going back onto a site tonight now, just so we can recharge the batteries. Um, and we're going to be up at Carlisle area. Or is it in Carlisle, I think? Yeah, I don't know. Is that the top point of England, or is that the southest point of Scotland? Carlisle, no, we're still in England, so we're at one of the northern points of England. We are very close to the border by there, so it looks like we'll be crossing over into Scotland at some point tomorrow. Oh, my daddy! Exciting, yeah. So, should we get up to Carlisle? Yeah, we better add just an extra 15 minutes to the, instead of the Angel of the North Rope, do you remember? Yeah, 15 We'd minutes. We've been sat more. there for an hour and a half last night looking, weren't we? But trying to look at all kinds. We looked at CAMC, we looked at Pitch Up, we looked at Park for Night, we looked oh, at Caravan and like Camping Brit Club, Stops. Brit Stops. We looked at the lot and yeah, we've just settled with this site. I can't remember what it's called, so we'll show you guys when we get there. Oh, I know what it is. The Wellington. Oh, yeah. Wellington Inn. It's a pub. You can tell I found it. <laughs> <laughs> but well, no, it's Wellington Inn and Caravan Park. Mm. So it should be interesting. But yep, we are going. This will be, for me, the most north I've ever been. What's really funny is, if we can, we'll try and get a map to show you our journey so far, because it would look quite funny, because most people would just be like one direct route up to Scotland. Yeah, no, no, it's this, just like we gotta guess. Like this. <laughs> but we're getting there. We're we, getting there. We might make it there by next week. No. Do we have to go through Ireland to get to Scotland? No. No, love. Don't have to go through Ireland to get to Scotland. Ireland is across the sea. Scotland, England and Wales are all connected via land. We're all part of the same land mass. That's why it's but anyway, I really want to go on the road because we've got another four hour trek <laughs> to do today, so let's go. Yeah. 